after Jesus died for our sins, he was buried. And just as scripture said he would, he was raised from the dead on the third day. Jesus appeared to the women first at the tomb and then to his disciples in the upper room. For 40 days, Jesus was with them and proved to all that he really was alive. At the end of 40 days, it was time for Jesus to return to heaven. But before he did, Jesus explained, Because I died, your sins are forgiven. And because I rose again to life, I have defeated death and made a way for you to be with God forever. By grace you have been saved because of your faith in me. This is not anything you did. You didn't earn it. It is God's gift. But this gift is not just for you. It is for everyone, everywhere. I am giving you a very important job to do. You are to go far and wide, starting here in Jerusalem and spreading to all nations of the earth. Tell everyone everywhere all the things you have seen. Explain to everyone everywhere about me and how they must turn away from their sins and be forgiven. You need my help to do this job. You must go back to Jerusalem and wait there until I send the Holy Spirit to be with you. He will help you tell the whole world about me. After Jesus ascended to heaven, the disciples, filled with joy, returned to Jerusalem to wait for the Holy Spirit. They joined together with the other believers and were constantly in prayer. And every day they went to the temple to praise God. One day, as they were waiting for the Holy Spirit to come, Peter stood up among the believers, a group of about 120 people, now, we don't have 120 people in this picture, so you will just have to use your imagination. Peter spoke to the believers from scripture and convinced them that they ought to choose someone to replace Judas, the disciple who had betrayed Jesus. Everyone agreed and together they chose a man who had been with Jesus from the very beginning. From the time of John's baptism all the way through to the time when Jesus was taken up into heaven. The man they chose was named Matthias. Matthias and the other 11 disciples became known from that time on as the apostles. A few days later on the day of Pentecost, a special Jewish festival that celebrated the time when God gave the Ten Commandments to his people, the apostles and many of Jesus's followers were gathered together. Suddenly they heard a sound that came from heaven. It was like a mighty rushing wind. It filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues that separated and came to rest on each of them. The Holy Spirit had come, just as Jesus had promised. The Spirit was not just with them, he was in each one of them. And the Spirit was changing them, transforming them to new people with new hearts who obeyed a new law of love and faith, grace and forgiveness. You see, even though the old law was holy and right and good, no one could keep it perfectly, so no one could be saved by it. 
the old law only showed them how much they sinned and how much they needed a savior. But now since Jesus had died, they were set free from the old law. God put his spirit in them and gave them new hearts that they were able to obey him. They were being made into brand new people with new hearts and new minds and a whole new way to live. God was transforming them to be like Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. This was such good news, the disciples rushed out into the city to tell everyone that God loved them and had saved them through his son, Jesus Christ.